In today's video, we will talk about the newly released DJI Air 3 and compare its features with its older sibling Air 2S and see if it's worth the up. Hello friends, my name is Tarun. I'm a professional DOP with experience in documentary and commercial project. I personally don't own any drone. However, being a drone pilot, I have used a variety of drone on various commercial projects. So today, I would be sharing my views as an experienced drone pilot who doesn't own any drone, if that's a thing. Let's start this video with the similarities in both the drones. And the first feature we're gonna talk about is its internal storage. Both the drone come with 8 GB of internal storage. Internal space is essential and can save your life in situations where you forget to carry your memory card. 8 GB is a good enough space if you are into stills, but for video, I think you would be able to capture around one minute of 4K recording, which is always better than nothing. The next feature we're going to talk about is the color bit and the picture profile. Both the drones can record 10-bit video colors and they both support the normal picture profiles as well as D-Log-M and HLG. These picture profiles can help in capturing high dynamic range with better colors as compared to a normal picture profile. Apart from this, both the drones can shoot video up to 4K60, although one of them can shoot in a much higher frame rate, which we will know in just a moment. If we talk about the video bitrate, aka video quality, both the drones can capture a maximum video bitrate of 150 Mbps. For those who don't know, a higher bitrate means higher quality in video. For the sake of comparison, right now I'm shooting with my Sony A6400 camera which records 4K video at a maximum 100 Mbps bitrate, which is lower than these drones. So technically, the video quality from these drones are gonna be better than my A6400 camera. Both these drones supports DJI Master Shot feature. In this automatic mode, drone take different shot of subject while doing different maneuvers and create a cinematic masterpiece with just a push of a button. This mode can be very useful for content creators. And the last similarity I would like to highlight here is the still formats. Both the drone can capture JPEG as well as DNG when it's come to stills. By the way, DNG is a type of raw file format. That's it as far as the similarities are concerned. Now let's compare the fun stuff. Although you might be thinking that Air 3 can easily demolish the older Air 2S, but you would be surprised because in some areas, Air 2S is still a better drone. The first key difference is the camera module. Air 3 comes with a dual camera setup as compared to a single camera setup in Air 2S. In Air 3, one camera has a wide angle field of view equivalent to 24mm and has an aperture of f1.7 which is going to be really helpful in low light situations. The second camera provides a tally range of 70mm equivalent with an aperture of f2.8. With this camera in AR3, you can instantly turn any regular looking shot into a Hollywood blockbuster scene because of its unique tally range and parallax effect it creates. On the other hand, the Air 2S comes with a single camera setup equivalent to 22mm focal range, which means it's a bit wider than DJI Air 3 wide angle camera. Also, it has an aperture of f2.8, which doesn't seem a lot, but the camera in this drone has a very strong feature, and that is its one inch sensor, as opposed to one by 1.3 inch sensor in DJI Air 3. Not only this, but the a 2s also has a pixel size of 2.4 um similar to the newly launched air 3 drone so if you combine the bigger sensor with the bigger pixel size in a 2s it's a better drone in terms of dynamic range and low light performance the next key difference is the video resolution where the dji air 3 can record in a maximum 4k resolution its older sibling, Air 2S, can record in a massive 4.5K resolution, which is a significant resolution difference. This extra resolution can help in capturing more detail, especially from the 1-inch sensor. Also, the extra resolution can pro provide a lot of flexibility during the post-production. When it comes to video frame rate, Air 3 wins here. You can not only capture up to 4K 60, but you can also capture 4K 100p, which can give you a silky smooth slow motion. 
there is also an option to capture 200p but in this mode you can only capture a full hd resolution which is fine for personal and fun stuff on the other hand air 2s can only capture maximum 4k 60p for ultra slow motion you can capture 120p but again in full hd mode in terms of battery air 3 wins again the company claimed 46 minutes of flight time in ideal condition as compared to 31 in air 2s not only this but the battery charging time has also been reduced significantly now the air 3 battery can be fully charged in just 80 minutes with a 65 watts portable charger and if you use a 100 watt usb-c charger you can fully charge your battery in just 60 minutes that's a huge difference if you compare it with the charging time of air 2s which takes 1 hour 35 minutes the new air 3 also has an innovative feature called power transfer if you have three partially charged batteries with this feature now you can transfer the juice to one fully charged battery and go for that last flight of the day which we often desire during the long shoots in any drone these are some of the key features that can influence your buying decision however drones nowadays comes with lots of supplementary features which as a drone operator makes your life easy I call them supplementary features as they can be useful for someone but not so useful for others. For example, Air 3 can shoot vertically. So if you shoot vertical content in 9x16 mode, you can capture it in camera's native resolution rather than doing cropping and scaling as in Air 2S. Air 3 also has a cruise control mode just like our cars. Air 2S doesn't, I guess. Air 3 has a waypoint feature which can let you draw the drone path on a map which the drone will follow during its flights. This feature is also not available in Air 2S. Air 3 has omnidirectional obstacle avoidance sensors which make it the most secure drone as compared to Air 2S which has forward, backward, upward and downward wizard system. However, most of the experienced pilots tend to switch off their obstacle avoidance sensors during the flight in order to get the smoother flight. So, as I said, this feature might be important for someone but not so important for others. Now the list of these features can go on and on and on but since it's not a typical review of DJI Air 3, I will not be covering all of them here. But if we step back for a moment from all these technical specification, features, tool addiction, and just think why drones gain their popularity. Because they made it possible for a common person like you and me to capture the world around us from the sky. From this point of view, the single most important feature in any drone would be its camera system. And when I compare the camera system of these two drones, I get confused. On the one hand, there is a new drone with a dual camera system which has a fantastic tele camera that can instantly make any scene look epic. On the other hand, we have an older drone with a single camera but with a larger sensor and better resolution. Although Air 3 with its tele camera looks really fascinating, I feel for professional projects, Air 2S camera has still an edge over its new sibling because of its bigger one in sensor and a massive resolution. These are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think about it by commenting below. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon with my next video. Till then, you take care. Bye-bye.